So I've seen a lot of videos online recently of people putting on colorblind glasses for the first time and experiencing colors in full vision. It's so clear I can't believe it. She really is pretty, isn't she? <laughs> she really is. Videos like these are awesome because I myself actually have a pair of these in chroma colorblind glasses and I really enjoy them. They've changed my life for the better, I believe. And how they work is actually a really cool design, but to explain that I have to kind of explain what colorblindness is in the first place. So if you didn't know, there are actually six main types of colorblindness. In your eye there are rods and cones, and rods are very sensitive to light, they don't differentiate between colors, and that's actually what allows you to see uh, in the middle of the night. That's what the rods do. Now, cones are a little different. There are three different types of cones in your eye that are associated to either red, green, or blue. And they're not literally um, helping you perceive those colors. It's kind of an easy way to represent it because it actually is a range of the wavelength which each cone is um, sensitive to. Now, when I say there are six different types of color blindness, I mean there are two different types of color blindness that affect one of the three types of color cones that are inside your eye. So people with normal color vision have all three of these color cones intact. And actually the majority of colorblind people also have all three of their cones. They just have one of them which is like mutated or anomalous. Now these people that have all three of their color cones are called trichromats. And people that are missing an entire color cone in their eye are actually called dichromats. Now this type of colorblindness is a lot more severe and if you were actually a dichromat, these colorblind glasses won't work for you at all because of the way that they work. For the colorblind people that are still considered trichromats, they are broken up into three separate groups depending on what color cone they have is deficient. So you can either be protonomalous, deuteranomalous, or uh, tritonomalous. And all that means is that the respective cone is shifted or mutated in such a way that it makes it difficult for them to determine what color they're looking at for that specific gradient. Now, colorblind people that are completely missing one of these cones are considered to have protonopia, deuteranopia, or tritonopia which means a complete lack of that color cone. And in extremely rare cases, like one in 33,000 of colorblind people, they have a single color cone. So they're missing two entire color cones. So they are monochromatic. And this is what some people picture when they think of colorblind people, where they see in black and white. Now I'm gonna to speak towards protonomalous and deuteronomalous because these are the two most common types of colorblindness and they are both considered red, blue, red green colorblind. The defect that causes protonomaly and deuteronomaly is actually hereditary, which means it's passed down through the X chromosome. And you've probably heard that men are a lot more likely to be colorblind because they only have one X chromosome and they just need that single chromosome to be defective to be colorblind. But women having two chromosomes, two X chromosomes, they need both of those to be defective, pass from both the father and the mother to be colorblind. And tritonomaly, because it actually isn't passed through the X chromosome, it's equally likely that a man or woman would be tri Tritonomalous. So you think you might be colorblind, but you want to be completely sure before you even think about purchasing glasses like these. Now by far the, the easiest way to check if you're colorblind is to go on to the website that sells glasses in Chroma and uh, take their online test. But if you just want to be 100% sure, you can actually go to a doctor, to an eye doctor and get this test done because the colors in your screen aren't as accurate and they could affect the test results. Now tests like these, the dot tests, are kind of just like a general uh, idea of your colorblindness. They can't really tell you the severity of your colorblindness. And for that, you actually need to get one of these really cool tests, like the Ishihara shade tests, which has to be done in a controlled space uh, because the shading is so specific. And how it works is you go in and you actually have trays with a shade on either end of the tray and a bunch of little discs. And you have to place the discs along the tray going from one shade to the other. And then they have like a scoring system where they're like numbered on the back and it determines uh, the severity of your colorblindness when they calculate it. Now onto the actual glasses themselves. Uh, I received them as a birthday gift back in July of 2017 and I was really happy when I received them. I was a little skeptical, of course, at first because a lot of the videos that I saw looked like they were exaggerations 
And I still believe that. I think a lot of the videos that they have online are exaggerations of the results you get when you first put them on. Because even in the box that you get the glasses in, they kind of tell you that it takes a while for your eyes to adjust and to set in to see any differences at all. Um, and some people might not even see any um, differences. Because again, these glasses don't work on dichromats, so you have to have just a deficient color cone to be able to use these. And so like the box said, it did take a few hours for me to fully adjust and to start noticing things a lot different. But now whenever I just put them on, I can, I can tell right away uh, that the colors are more vibrant. And if you've ever worn like a pair of uh, like polarized sunglasses, it's kind of similar where in polarized sunglasses, it kind of cuts away all the glare and things just look more vibrant. That's what these look like when you put them on for the first time and then just slowly gets a little stronger over the first few hours that you wear them. Now, if you wanna know how these sunglasses actually work, uh, what they do is that they have filters, like stacks of filters in the lens that actually cut out some of the overlapping parts of the different wavelengths. And these overlapping parts are what uh, colorblind people have issues differentiating the different colors of. So when you cut out these overlapping sections, it kind of forces a color that you're looking at into one area or the other. So uh, wearing these glasses, you do lose some of the uh, like s very specific shading, like the colors aren't accurate, but they're easier to tell apart. And back to the glasses themselves, the build quality of these is really nice. I love the design of them. They have a lot of different designs, but these ones are my favorite and I actually think they look pretty good. And now that I put them on, I kind of want to just go hang out in my backyard for a little bit because I like staring at the bushes and the grass.